Hi, Jess. Tell us a little bit about you. How did it all start? Hi, I'm Jess. Um, I a little bit about myself. I love to run. I love to bake. I want to go on to Great British Bake Off one day. Um, I love to paint. I like to snowboard, so I have many hobbies. Um, in the sense of my career, I have my own company and I've had my own company now for going on nine years. My career started, um, I went to London College of Fashion and I studied fashion management with a specialism in marketing. Um, it was whilst I was at university, I didn't know anyone in the fashion industry and I did many internships and it was during those internships I was fortunate enough to intern at Vivian Westwood. Um, after I graduated, I worked at Alessi, the sports brand, and I was then offered a full-time position at Vivian Westwood. Um, I went to Vivian Westwood and I would say that really was sort of really started my career and certainly solidified that I wanted to stay within fashion. Um, predominantly, I then stayed within celebrities, so I worked in PR, in management, and when I started my company, um, I started my company actually with, I had a, num I had a couple of talent celebrities that I worked with. Um, I then moved, I did casting as well um, for an agency and I had a photographer. Um, it was the first time that I had ever worked with a photographer and that was the start of where I am now and I work creatives. Are you where you thought you would be? I think I'm exactly where I'm meant to be. I think it's so easy for us to get caught up in the future and you know of course it's so important for us to have hopes and to have dreams and to have things to look forward to um, but we can really get lost in that and it often means that or it certainly has meant for me that I haven't been present in the moment and I haven't enjoyed the things around me. I haven't I've just constantly been chasing the the next thing and the next high. Um, so I've really tried to ensure that like I'm very present, I enjoy the moment and also that I celebrate my wins. Um, again, I think it's been, like for myself, um, it's been really easy for me to not celebrate those wins. And I think it's really important, particularly when you have your own company, um, it's so important for us to have you know, to pat ourselves on the back and really celebrate the things that we that we achieve. In your curated world of talent and beauty, what or who has been the flame that inspires and empowers your creativity? I don't have a single answer for that. Um, I have been fortunate to work with some incredible talent. Um, whether that's been at the you know kind of start of their career and I've watched them grow um, or I've worked with talent who are already incredibly large and world famous um, so and you know being able to be a part of um, a talent's journey and being able to help push them being able to help them um, reach their goals and um, to see them grow in the industry that they are in. Um, that is exactly what ignites my creativity. Um, right now, predominantly, I work with photographers and working with photographers, I love nothing more than being in that creative process from the very start, um, you know, when we're kind of getting into the creative, um, right through to the shoe, and then of course, all the, the post-production. Um, so yeah, working right now, my creativity in my professional life is, you know, being able to work on such incredible projects. Um, in the sense of at other times in my career, I would say that working at Vivian Westwood, for example, was a huge, she had been such a huge inspiration to me. Um, so being able to work there was something that I, I will always love, I'll always be so grateful for. And yeah, I just absolutely loved working there. 
Um, and who empowers my creativity right now? I would say my partner. Um, he he's incredible at really kind of you know seeing seeing something that I might be interested in or might be good at and he really pushes me to be the best version of myself and for me to learn new things um, and it's it's really really beautiful um, so recently the new thing that I have learned is how to snowboard and I'm absolutely obsessed with snowboarding now. Um, and I think through kind of new hobbies and learning new things, you then are inspired by other people, other places. Um, so with snowboarding, I now, there's a female snowboarder called Mia Brooks, who is incredible. Now, of course, I'm never going to be as good as her. Um, however, I can be inspired by wanting to try some of the tricks that she does. Um, so yeah, so I think you can find inspiration in so many things that we do and on a daily basis. Is there a beam of inspiration in your professional and personal life? Has there been like that pivotal aha moment that you've had? inspirations in my professional life have certainly been Vivian Westwood it's been talent that I've repped um, a huge inspiration for me and a reason that I started my company was that I met um, a female photographer who I wanted to rep her so much um, and she was such a driving force of me like I say starting my company um, and yes, yeah, she was she was pivotal in my career. Um, and personally, again, my partner inspires me. My friends are huge inspiration to me. I my I adore my friends. I am super fortunate to have such a close um, a close kind of knit circle of friends and all of them inspire me in different ways. And I think that's so important um, as particularly somebody that has their own business that can be really hard times and i think it's so key to have a kind of like solid unit of people around you that are there for the good times are there for the bad times they're there to remind you why you you're doing what you do um so yeah my friends are certainly an inspiration to me is there one piece of advice you would give even your younger self to trust the process is there one achievement that really stands out and why do you think it was so special? Recently, I would say my greatest achievement has been graduating as a volunteer with Peace Over Violence. It was, and it means so much to me because of my, um, my personal connection to the organization and just being a part of something that is helping people there's it's yeah it means so much to me um and through my life i feel so fortunate to have had the achievements that i've had um to get to go to london college of fashion i never thought i would i would pass those exams um working at vivian westwood getting to work with the talent i've worked with um you know, being able to see the photographers that I'm lucky enough to rep now, seeing their work billboarded around the world is such a huge sense of achievement um, for both me and a sense of achievement because I'm so happy and proud of, of the talent that I rep. Um, and also achievements in my life, learning how to snowboard um, and also being able to make shoe pastry. I had always wanted to be able to successfully make shoe pastry and I can now, so I'm hoping it's one more step closer to a Paul Hollywood handshake. Can you tell us a little bit more about your work with Peace Over Violence? What encouraged you to join this movement and why is it so personal for you? Um, so before I talk about how I got involved with Peace Over Violence, I think it's really important um, that I let everybody know who Peace Over Violence is and what they do. Um, so Peace Over Violence is a feminist organization. They are a non-profit organization based in Los Angeles. And their mission is to build healthy relationships, uh, families and communities that are free from domestic, sexual and interpersonal violence. 
Um, and there's five services that Peace Over Violence offer. Um, there's emergency um, intervention, prevention, education and advocacy. Um, I got involved with Peace Over Violence because I had first-hand experience at using their services. Um, and the experience I had was truly life-changing. Um, and anybody that has had a life-changing experience um, may be able to relate. Um, but certainly for me, there was a, a fire that sort of ignited and there was such an urge to be able to give back um, and to be able to, I wanted people to feel the way that I felt. I wanted people, even if it's just one person, I really want one person to feel the change that I felt. Um, so I was made aware that they have a volunteer program and it was during the, the, you know, I signed up and I got accepted, um, onto, onto the volunteering program for violence prevention specialist. So I trained and I graduated, have my certificate hanging up in our living room. Um, and it's been my biggest, it's actually been one of my biggest achievements. Um, the sense of, the sense of knowing that I can potentially help somebody, um, the gratitude that I feel at being able to to help at such an organisation that I truly, truly believe in and the work that they do changes lives. Um, I mean, when your mission is to end the world of sexual, domestic and interpersonal violence, um, for me, I, I mean, you, what more can you ask? And the males and females that work at Peace Over Violence are angels from the sky in my eyes. Um, I have learnt so much about myself doing the training, so much about care and empathy and understanding, um, as well as, of course, all the knowledge I learned. There were things that I, like I say, that I learned that I have certainly taken into my life, um, into my, you know, personal and professional life. And I will be forever grateful to Peace Over Violence. Um, for everything they for everything that they do they have done and they will continue to do so i feel extremely lucky um to be able to volunteer with them um and also if anybody wants to wants to know more then please ask or do some research um but i certainly urge everybody to go and look at the amazing work and if there's any way that people can be you know a part of um of the organization then i certainly urge them to do that what does beauty and being beautiful mean to you Beauty and being beautiful to me is really about our us inside. And I remember when I was young hearing somebody say beauty is more than skin deep. And I think at the time I was like, what do they mean? You know, like what? And the I think it's an age thing, but certainly the older I've I've become, I understand and can appreciate that no end um because i truly do believe that beauty comes from the inside it's how we talk to ourselves how we look after ourselves how we treat ourselves um and if we treat ourselves with kindness and care and we talk to ourselves in the right way then that that comes out in our real life it shows in the way that we treat people um our kindness our care our empathy um that really goes out onto or spreads to everybody else. Um, so yeah, I, I, for me, beauty is way more than this external carcass that we that we have. Um, it's really about us inside. Jess, you have so many skincare and beauty secrets. What's the best one you've ever received? Okay, I've got three. Um, so the first is don't sleep with your makeup on. I don't know why anyone would try that, but yeah, don't see me your makeup on. The second is, I read this when I was like 12, 13, 14 in a magazine, 
I can't remember what magazine it was because it was so many years ago. Um, but I read that if you moisturize your skin from from head to toe um, and you, you, you moisturize towards the heart to get your circulation going, that it helps you or it helps prevent cellulite. I don't know if that's entirely true. However, I certainly have done it since I was young and that would be a skincare secret. Like I say, I don't know if scientifically that's proven though, so please nobody blame me if it doesn't work. And thirdly, my skincare secret, it's two amazing females. One of them is of course Mariam. Um, Mariam is key to my skincare routine. I have seen Mariam for, I it must, it must be, nearly uh, it must be nine or ten years that i've been seeing mariam and she was yeah and is the key to my skincare and getting me right with that um and my second so my the second person um is debbie thomas queen of lasers she is incredible too um so debbie and mariam are my skincare secrets not so not so secret now uh yes they're my three my three secrets what is the little day-to-day -day that helps you be the best version of yourself? I have like a morning routine um, that that I follow. Um, so in our house, we have a rule where we don't answer emails and we don't go on social media um, first thing in the morning. It's really important for us to have connection and to not take on anybody else's energy um, before we've kind of, you know, woken up and taken on our own. Um, so it starts like that. And then I do an intention and gratitude list. I then read, I have a book that's called, it's like 365 day zodiac renewal quotes. Um, and in it, it's essentially based on zodiac signs. And for each day, it's a quote or a task for you to do. Um, so for example, today it was about, it was about love. And it was the, it posed a question of taking 10 minutes out of your day to appreciate and love something that isn't another person. So we can love the sea. Why do we love the sea? Um, so yeah, so I read that and complete the task if it asks for a task. Um, then do I do 10 minutes of yoga just to like stretch my body and wake my body up. And then I exercise, predominantly running because I love running so much. Um, so it's normally running or doing some weights and then I start my day. Why should we celebrate International Women's Day? I love asking this question because I wanna know, is there a message you would wanna to give to those watching? My message would be to be kind to each other, to be caring and to uplift each other. As females, we should constantly be uplifting each other, supporting each other. If someone has a business, support their business, give compliments, offer help, offer advice. Advice and help is free. And as females, we really should be, you know, kind of helping each other as much as we can so we can be the the best humans or even better versions of the best humans that we already are. In a world of so many products, Jess, what's your favorite MZ skin product? My favorite product? I don't just have one. <laughs> I, I have, I've been using MZ skin since MZ skin started. And forgive me if I'm wrong, Mariam, but the line started with four or five items. And of course, scientifically, they're amazing. Um, but equally, because I love Mariam and think she's the most incredible female, I was like, I have to get all these products because I love Mariam and they have to be amazing. They were amazing. And my each time like MZ Skin launches a new product, then I, I definitely always get it. And I'm always blown away with how amazing it is. Um, but the simple answer would be my favorite product is probably if I had to pick, and forgive me if I butcher this name, it would be the Nighttime Renewal Placenta, the pink glass bottle. Mm -hmm.